Sing for me, Ben. I'm in the mood for love. That's not what I meant. No, no. So Incorrect. Because you're near me. No, wait, no. God. What's what happening? Song? What song is that? We're being... I'm we're in the be- mood for love? Who by? I don't know. Have you just, just made that? Literally, it's the first thing that came into my head. Wow. Sorry. I feel like I've just been romantically assaulted. Welcome to Nerds Chatting. Movie, TV, comic chat. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome everybody to the Nurse Chatting Podcast. My name is Nate and with me are my two very good friends, Ben and JB. Hello boys. Hello. Hiya. So this is the Nurse Chatting Podcast, part of the Nerds Chatting, what did I call it? Network. Network, yeah, because we've got other podcasts but we haven't done them for a while. Um, <laughs> in this podcast we talk about all things nerdy, movies and TV shows and comic books. Um, and there was a ton of news this week, so we're going to do a podcast about news rather than a topic. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about Joker, but I think there's so much other stuff. We're still going to talk about Joker, but, but not, not in just, the intensity. Yeah, yeah. Not as much detail. No. But that doesn't mean we can't talk about it again another time. Indeed, when there's mm. probably a trailer drop. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. But so, as it's all news, I thought we'd start with Nerd Scene. Okay, all sounds right. good. Yeah, yeah. Nerd Scene. So this is Nerd Scene. This is where we talk about stuff we've watched and seen and read. I'm not going to... Am I going to... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I am, yeah. So this is the play... This is the I play love your thought the... process, then. I'm not going to... Yeah, you look yeah, 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 yeah. at me as if to say, am I going to play along? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to play along. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is Nerd Scene. So it's written Nerd, S-C-E-N-E. But it's a play on the words mm-hmm. Nerd Scene, S-E-E-N. So it's like... What have the nerds been watching, seen, but because we've been watching stuff that's like entertainment, which is normally broken up into sections, which yep. are called scenes, yes. it's a play on those words. Oh. And it's also like the scene, you know, like what's on the scene? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like nerd scene. Um, I think the French would call this je ne comprends pas. Yes, they would, mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah sorry. So I've got a few on here. I'm going to chuck them out there quickly. It was my father's birthday this weekend and we went over to the house and we, ah. had, the, we had the fire lit because it was cold and we had some food and then we sat down in front of the TV and we watched a couple of movies. Did you roast any marshmallows on the fire? No, I didn't. No. And happy birthday, Papa Turner. Yeah, yes, I was going to call him Papa Turner as well. Oh, yeah, really? Maybe BPT. Uh, so, oh. <laughs> we watched Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Okay. Is that the one with the rock? Yeah. Oh my God. It's really funny. Oh my goodness. It's actually a quality movie. And let me tell you why. It's about computer games. Yes, yes. And it's very self-aware. Um, Stuff happens in it that's ridiculous, but it says, oh, well, this is, this is I think, like, okay, so the, the, the four main characters land in the computer game, I won't spoil too much, and then stuff starts getting explained to them, and it's explained to us on screen, and one character goes, what the hell's going on? And the other one goes, oh, I think this is a cutscene. They do that in games quite a lot. Mm. And so it gives you, it tells oh, right. you what's going on. That's and it's clever. Very good. And well, they have like any... lives and things. And, yeah. Is there any bad language in it? No, it's a family friendly movie. Is it appropriate for my five year old twin sons? Uh, probably. Has it got big spiders in it? Uh, uh, do you know it's less animal heavy than I thought it would be? You remember the first Jumanji? Yeah, it's got big spiders animals. in it. This is less Can't animal heavy. It's more like Lost, I would say. Lost. The TV show lost. Oh, right, okay, yeah, Smoke yeah. monsters and polar bears. And people. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. It was really entertaining. Lost yeah. but not a head... Head yes. screw. Trauma. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay, good. Okay, cool. I recommend you watch it. Uh, might do this weekend, actually. Yeah, yeah. Got all the kids this weekend, so maybe yeah. that'll be our family movie. I think it's oh. a PG. I think it's a... Oh, that's okay. Yeah. As long as we're in the room, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, and uh, also watch The Equalizer with... Um, Denzel. Denzel Washington. Have you guys seen that before? Nope. I've seen the 1980s TV show it was based on. With well, I've e- seen some episodes of with it. With Ewa Woo Woo. Ewa Woo Woo. Yes. Edward yeah. Woodward. Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward, yes. He was too old to be nails like that, though, wasn't he? I, I haven't seen that. Disagree. Know. Edward Woodward is nails. Okay, fine. Um, if he's still alive, which I hope he is. I don't think he is. Oh, no. So The Equalizer, Ouch. yeah, it's, um, it's it, basic premise is it's a, it's a guy who's clearly got some history in some sort of special opsy type thing equalising yeah but he then he lives a very quiet calm life and then things happen in front of him that he feels are not right and he is a justice warrior uh, and sounds he, like Quantum Leap yeah it's like that but with a lot more punching and shooting of people yeah and there are some fairly gruesome elements to it not like like gore-tastic horror but like there's a bit like where someone gets like a shot glass shoved in their eye Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, oh, I can imagine the Italian didn't like that. No, she was a bit like, Ooh, but she enjoyed the film anyway. Were you watching that with your folks? Yeah. Okay. My dad said he loved it. He wanted to watch it. He, my dad is like, we have to watch this film because the second one's coming out soon. 
or has been out in the cinemas mm-hmm. and coming out soon. I so really enjoyed it. Sat there eating his beige food and watching the Equalizer with you. In joke, like it. Yes, nice. very good. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, Edward Woodward died in 2009. Yeah, I thought you That's died. terrible. Is, I didn't yeah. realise that. Anyway, oh, RIP Edward Woodward. Sorry. Recommend you watch it. It's uh, it's like an old school 90s action film set now and therefore got the content style of now. Um, Nicola and Chris from the We Have a Hulk pod reviewed uh, Equalizer 2, The Return of the Equalizer, and this time he's really mad, <laughs> Yeah. Um, on their last podcast. And they enjoyed it, but they said it wasn't as good as the first film. I so I'm going to take that that I need to watch the first film because you enjoyed it, and maybe I'll watch the second one, but it won't be as good. I might. Can I just pick up on a point about watching films with parents yes. or in-laws or friends' parents? Yeah. I oh once god, watched, this is going to be horrendous. I once watched the history of violence with my friends oh my and their parents, oh. and then there's the scene on the stairs, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they're having. You mean on the on the like? Pavement? They're having no, no, no. You're, oh, you mean, you're talking you're, the sexy sex scene? Yeah. Oh right, I you're, forget that one. You're thinking of the pavement head. Yeah, thing, that's yeah. American. That's American history. history X. X. Oh, sorry, I thought I saw what you said. No, no. I said a history of violence. History oh god, violence I'm so sorry. I haven't seen yeah, history of violence. Yeah, anyway, yeah, oh, right. David okay. Cronenberg. Um, it's based on a graphic novel, I think. Yeah, but anyway. So I don't. I try to avoid watching films with like in-laws, yeah. parents, just because. Well, these days you never know, do you? No, My, no every, everything is over sexualized or too violent these yeah. days. So old, aren't I? I'm so no. old. Such an old man. Yeah, I remember. I watched Robocop with my folks the first time I watched it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. How'd you do that? Wow. Anyway. Uh, well, moving on from completely the other spectrum. Yeah. Okay. I watched two things on, on Netflix. James is going to tap out because he hasn't got Netflix. Bye. <laughs> there's, a, there's a show called Hilda, which is based on a comic book, and it's an animated little feature. I watched the first episode of it. It's a bit like... It's an Archie comic. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I think it's like an image comic. Someone's, oh. someone's screaming at the, the MP3 playing device and hating us right now. But um, It's important that nothing matters. So. Exactly, yeah. It's a little bit like... It was on the recommendation of... Words... Ben on Twitter. Ben Fenden? Fenners? Yes. From the Super Nerd UK podcast? Yes. He's lying. Are you Nothing sure? Matches. No, he doesn't. Okay. I think it he is absolutely that. Yeah. doesn't. Okay. Anyway, the first of it, it's a little bit like um, Scott Pilgrim Light. So okay. It's a little girl um, who lives in out in, uh, like I'd say, like wilderness. She's got a British accent, but I would guess it's like Canada. I don't know. Um, and there are like elves, and she's got a fox dog thing. Deer fox dog as her pet yeah exactly and it's really lovely it's sweet and lovely and wonderful and kids, kids thing yeah it, but it's like modern I only watched the first episode it's like 20 minutes long um, the, the story goes throughout like it has an ongoing story it's not like a you know Rugratsy type thing where each week it's different it's that's a reference isn't it Rugrats, Rugrats. Yeah, I, I, know, like yeah. Rugrats. I used to love Rugrats. Rugrats okay so it's not Simpsons then it's not like each week is different it's a, an ongoing story mm-hmm. really really good Really beautiful style, really like lovely art style, a lovely way that things connect. It's got like a post manga feel about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Hmm. I might check this out. I'm not sure. That's we'll why see. I watched the first episode. I haven't really, I haven't given it enough for the for the rest of the, the episodes, but it was very enjoyable. Okay. Question. Okay. Uh, how much does Netflix subscription cost again? It's like, it's like seven, nine, seven nine, pound. Seven nine, nine, uh, nine, I thought it was seven ninety nine a month. Is that what it is? Interesting, because do you know recently Sky has now announced a deal that they will have Netflix as a part of their package. Yeah, with Sky Q. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. but it's going to cost £10 for Netflix, so that's going to be more. Maybe the Mm. Netflix prices do go up every now and then. There are, like, expansions you can have, so at the minute you can have, like, five users on the Netflix I've got, but I think if you pay extra you can get, like, ten users or something. So Netflix could be coming to the Bingham household in around November if I decide to upgrade to Sky Q. Watch this space. Yeah, I'll keep you you listeners in. Right, well, stick with Netflix. One more thing. Final Space. It's hilarious. Okay, two I've two episodes of it. I've seen a few podcasts now. Um, uh, again, I think Nicola and Chris talked about this. I can't remember if they did, but certainly the Invincible Podcast boys were talking about this on their latest. Um, oh no, it was on the Oblivion Song podcast. Yeah, it's the same guys. Yeah, they were talking about this and they said um, how much they enjoyed it. It's somewhere between Rick and Morty and Futurama. That so, is exactly what my son said to me. So yeah, it's wow. it, it's got the Futurama slapstick. Yeah, um, but it's got the Rick and Morty wacky. Um, so it's there, like there's bits where the main character in it is is us because he doesn't quite know what's going on. He's a prisoner on the ship. It's got Red Dwarf feel as well. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's very Red Dwarf actually. Um, and but then he he so he's he's silly and slapstick and he's kind of a bit of a doofus. Um, and then like spoilers at one point he gets his arm ripped off and it's horrific. He screams like like it's you know well, gut wrenching scream. But in these com you know are these uh, yeah, cartoons, cartoons yeah. it's normally a quite like oh no that was bad and then move on. In this it's really horrid. And yet, at the same time, he's like, I was laugh say, at it. Do, doesn't doesn't the show sort of set you up to th- you think it's one thing, and then it sort of changes halfway through? Uh, well, I've only watched two episodes of it so far, oh, so I don't know. Okay. But, oh. Right, how yeah. long are the episodes? About twenty minutes, twenty-two maybe. And how many are there in total? Uh, Ten, I believe. Oh, I, I'll get on board on this. So I'll, I'll check it out. See it's, what it's about. It's really funny. Okay. It's very funny. I'll, I'll come he, and tell people what it's really like. So, so well, Gary, you'll, just say, you'll just say that you'll like it. Standard. Gary, the main character, is, is stuck on this ship, and you're not necessarily sure what's going on. There's a, there's, a, there's some sort of time travel thing happened. Definitely, <laughs> he's not listening. No, anymore. he's not. Um, <laughs> I'm listening. Time travel thing. Something possibly. like that. We're yeah. not sure. Um, but because Gary's on the ship on his own, there are like all these robots around him, and and he kind of he's kind of uh, what's the Tom Hanks movie where he gets stuck on the island. Castaway, Castaway, and you know he he got he gets Wilson. Yeah, he's a little bit like that with them. So like one of them has got written Hank on the name, but the other one has written boobs on the you know <laughs> and the fridge. He's like made eyes and a mouth out of paper and like written Beth on it. So he's named the fridge and he's like he's had heartwarming conversations with Beth. Right, what so a right. great name for he's, a fridge. He's going. He's clearly going insane. If he wasn't insane already, is he an unreliable narrator? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think I'm going to like this. I'm going to check it out. There's, that's enough people now have recommended it to me to check it out. I, I reckon you. I reckon you should watch it. So that's all my nursing. So what you got, Ben? Um, so after you boys have both been raging at me to watch things like Master Chef and Bake Off. I've started watching Bake Off, and I did catch what? a little bit of Master Chef, Celebrity Master Chef, the UK one, not the Australian one. Oh, I hate you! I live tweeted, but delayed by one day, <laughs> um, my watching of Bake Off's episode five, whatever it was last night. Yeah, and it was like Spice Week or something like yeah, that. And it was I was I was <laughs> you, you and Nicola from We Have a Hulk were tagged in it. Sorry about that. And I was just ranting and watching, and I I am beside myself. I'm actually enjoying it. It's really good. Raul is the best person on the planet ever. He seems to be the most talented, doesn't he? He's also really sweet. Yeah. yeah. And the, the ending... Just, just shaking his head like... I'm the ending scene something. last week, because there were two people kicked out last week because there wasn't Spoilers. one yeah, yeah. from the week before. Oh. The guys who were both kicked out, they were really cut up and broken up about it. And I didn't realise that Terry, the guy with the silly twirly moustache, yeah. had actually lost his wife. Yeah. She, she passed away and he'd taken up baking as something to fill his time. Oh, no, and it was stories. just like, oh God, this is cutting me in half. It's, it's a bloody baking show and it was making me upset. It's great. great. I love it. I love baking. I do not like Prue. Prue is the best. No, you need don't to get like behind Prue. Prue. No, I'm okay with Paul Hollywood because he, he has, you know, he's like a celebrity chef, but I don't like Prue. That's, she's because, great. that's because she's no Cheza Be- Cheza Beza. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mary Berry. I don't know why I say Cheza Beza. <laughs> Cherry Berry, about? Cherry Bakewell. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice, yeah. Mary Berry. Um, Sandy and Noel are brilliant. Are brilliant. I love the fact that Noel always comes around, you know, because he's told by a producer, go and talk to them. So, okay, yeah, I'll go and talk. Um, oh, you know, how, how's it all going? And someone explains to them, him technically, oh, I'm having real problems with this. He's like, oh, I wish I could help. But I don't know anything about baking. Yeah. <laughs> he's so, he's so like, he's he's the externalized monologue that we all have. Yeah, he just yeah. says the things like it, stupid things. It's guys, also very stressful, guys. I'm just going to say, I had Gordon Ramsay week, Master Chef Australia. <laughs> oh, that did you? Trumps everything that you've just rabbited it on about okay where can I catch Celebrity MasterChef watch, Australia or watch, MasterChef watch, Australia watch HD oh you said that last week yeah I did yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay I'll what else out. you got on the list then have you got anything James uh, I have uh, it's, it's because the family have been watching it that I've watched it what is it Strictly Come Dancing Oh, yeah, fair. Is that back already? Yep. It's oh. a fairly British institution. Yeah. I don't mind Strictly. That's, that's good. fine. It makes you want to dance. Mm-hmm. And I and my girls are dancing around the front room trying to do the whatever it is. Yeah. Grace likes Strictly Come smooth, Dancing, but it? I didn't realise it was back. Waltz. Waltz, Has it yeah. only just come back? Uh, so they've had three, like two weeks of warm up of like the opening show. Uh, the bit the bit what always cracks me up is like, oh, I don't know who my partner is. I'm so I really want to have Derek, I don't know. I just made up Derek. Yeah. And guess yeah. what? 
They got Derek. Derek. Uh, yeah. Almost like it was constructed. Yeah, they've got <laughs> Stacey Dooley's on it, and she cracks me up. Who's the? Um, Do you know Stacey Dooley? She does lots of documentaries on. Yeah, on Stacey things Dooley on BBC investigates. Three. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, who is the politician going to get kicked out because they're rubbish? One. Oh, uh, there is no politician. I. I'm just oh. trying to wrap through my brain. Or um, former celebrity who's come back. Um, the uh, the lady who was in What Not to Wear back in the 90s, what's she called? Is it Trini and Susanna? Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. I think it's, it's definitely Su- one I of them. I think it's Susanna. She is with... Oh, who's the one? Um... Anton. Anton An- De Beck. I love Anton, yeah, yeah, Anton yeah. De Beck, who's, that's not his real name. Um, is it not? Nope. What's his real name? Can't remember. I, I bet it's it like up. Steve I, Trevor. No, not no. Steve Trevor. No. Anyway, he seems to get all the people that don't have such good uh, dance, uh, are not very good at dancing. I mm. mean, they can practice all they're like, they're going to be crap. Yeah, sure. Um, so she got the lowest score and I think she will probably go out. But there's, there's, there's quite a few surprises. I have a Strictly Come Dancing anecdote that's personal to me, if you'd like to know about this. Yes, I might have said it before. You know Len Goodman, who used to be a judge? Isn't yeah, seven! Judge? Yeah, is he yeah. still a judge? Nope. No, not okay. anymore, no. apparently. He used to judge my parents, because that's how my parents met. They were no professional dancers. way. Fact. I... That is absolutely fantastic. Both of you have jaws dropped. And that's a true, I am true a story. gog. Really? Yeah, true story. That's yeah. amazing. Can they still do it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They... My mum my apparently was a child prodigy of dancing, but she doesn't do it now. She's a nurse. But, you so know. <laughs> question is when there is a family gathering, I don't know, wedding, yeah. uh, birthday party, do they... Sh- do oh, they, yeah. They, 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 the they ruin like in, everyone they, at the park. <laughs> are they like in pose, ready to just... No, not sort necessarily, because they, they just, they, you know, they, they can do... They can, um, do the, hit the lines you know the lines I would oh, love to yeah, know yeah. though well, because nice. you have that standard thing of oh yeah I'm going to do my dad dancing but your dad actually does do really good yeah, dancing yeah, does. <laughs> so do they have to do they have to bring their level down when people are just trying to dance to I don't know Avicii yeah. wake me up I, yeah, don't, yeah. I don't even know where that came from and the funniest thing is my mum loves to dance obviously yeah. so at any of these parties events it's just like oh my god she's that one that's always up dancing at the end you know at the end when there's someone in front of the DJ yeah yeah, yeah. she mom. she putting requests in yeah yeah that's my mum yeah. Oh God! I cannot me. wait to get an invite to a to a Turner family party and watch this happen. It's going to happen one day. <laughs> um, we, if we don't get an invite, we'll just turn up. Yeah, we will. Yeah, okay. Fair. There you go. I thought you'd like that. Anecdote. That was one of the yeah. best things. I've, that's one of my best stories. <laughs> oh my goodness! I want to there we go. Right, let's, let's spin through these next couple. Right. Quickly. Okay. Um, I have I um, have read volume one to three, and I've just done issues one, two, three, and four of volume four of Black Science. So I've read volumes one and two. I've read them three times now, so I've read them before. I want to say this is Matt Fraction, but I've made that up. No, it's Rick Remender oh. and Matteo Scalara. Right. And I have to say, I had enjoyed it last the, the, the first two times I read the first two volumes. Yeah. It seems to have just got better. I don't know if that's just because my understanding of comics has evolved since yeah, I read happens. them last. That happens. But it, it's an absolutely incredible story. I would say that's what um, happens with Final Crisis in the DC. I know you don't like Final Crisis, but I think... I've read it two or three times now, mm-hmm. and each time I've evolved in my understanding of the history of the comics and yeah. my understanding of how comics, language of comics works, yeah. and you get more from it. it, it honestly, it's, it's so good. It's so sci-fi, boys' own adventure. I think you'd really enjoy it, actually. I'm sure mate. I would. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm on, so I'm onto the single issues now, because I've bought like about three years' worth of single issues and just stacked them to say, right, well, I'll read this, this your to-do list. when I get to it. This is my uh, my reading list, and I'm now at it, and I'm going through it, and it's great. I literally can't wait to get home and pick up the next issue. Wow. It's really, really good. And um, it's one of them... It's, it, on, as a sci-fi comic book, it's probably one of the best I've read. And I include good. in that Descender, and I include in that Saga... Um, and I, other sci-fi things that I've read. Anything both, ending, both uh. of which I was like, eh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it, it's potentially better or as good as they are. Okay, there you go. But Saga's more family drama, and and Descender's more Descender's more family drama, really. But one of the members of the family is just a boy robot. There you go. Talking of family dramas, did you manage to read all this whilst you had your gas leak sorted? Yes. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, so I had to come into work late on Monday night for issues and then had to go home and face with my driveway being dug up because we had a gas leak under the house. Yeah. That was fun. All sorted now. Uh, yeah. The other thing I read yesterday was Heroes in Crisis, issue one. It's the new DC Crisis comic. Yes. Uh, if you don't want to know, avoid all internets because apparently there are spoilers everywhere. But there was a big death. 
Okay, the so issue. obviously I'm interested because it's a big crossover in DC, but then the other side of that is that I'm not reading too many comics at the minute. And the fact that Harley was on the front cover, front and centre, or front to the left, whatever, I, I'm not that fussed by it. Okay. I'll probably pick up the trade when it comes out. Fine, yeah. I think it's going to be good. It's Tom King. It's Clay Mann. Okay. And his artwork is incredible. Uh, Tom King, I, I like his comics. Mm. Um, I think he's an excellent writer. Uh, and I really enjoyed this new one, actually. It's, uh, you know, it's obviously going places. The, the setup is um, the, the, the DC heroes have set up using some kind of Kryptonian technology, a, a place where heroes can go and talk through what they've seen or experienced or had to do okay. to solve a whatever, a, yeah. a, an event. And um, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman race there because the alarm goes off. And when they turn up, everyone has been killed. Everyone has been killed, ah. and it's a who done it murder mystery crisis event. Great, cool, really enjoying it. Can't wait to read more. So, I also read Doomsday Clock issue seven, and it's so boring and slow and plodding. I almost want to tap out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep going. Mm. I haven't read that in ages. Yeah, it's fine. Too. Should we move on to some news? Have you got any nerd scene? Nothing at all. Okay, news. Broken news. This is broken news. It's so old. It's uh, it's not breaking. It's already broken. And this is the bulk of the podcast from now on. So shall we crack on? Yes, let's. There was a trailer for Creed Two. Yeah, there was. You hadn't seen Creed though. I didn't. I wasn't oh, aware I of that. Creed, no. well, that's fine. No. I think I have. Okay. Okay. I think I have. Well, I've seen all the Rocky films, and I've seen Creed, and I am very excited for Creed Two. Hugely excited for Creed 2. And I know the Rocky films are ridiculous and stupid. I think it looks really silly, but well made. Yeah. Is that fair? In what way do you think it looks silly? Like, it's such a contrived situation that he would be fighting Drago's son. Yes, it is. But then maybe they'll write it in that they'll be like, well, it's such a show stopper that so many people are going to watch it then that should, works. should I explain what the, the, what the all the links are here so in Rocky IV Ivan Drago the Siberian bull came over to America to throw his hat into the prize fighting ring he had an exhibition fight against Apollo Creed he battered him to death in the ring yeah. Rocky then fought him Spoilers. in a non-sanctioned title fight on Christmas Day in Moscow in 1985 and he beat him and resolved the Cold War Skip forward years later, Rocky is obviously now like 40 years older. He's a trainer. In, not in a very good way. Um, Adonis Creed is uh, Apollo's illegitimate son. Michael he, B. Jordan. That's one right, of the Michael greatest Jordan. actors around at the moment. And Creed is directed by um, Ryan, Ryan Coogler, Coogler, who yes. did uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Yep. Um, again, with there Michael B. Jordan. And it's fun, and it's got an actual boxer in it, and it's got a, a real boxing match um, against... Uh, who is it? I know exactly who it is because he fought recently. I've forgotten his name. What, the new one or the, or the old one? The, the, the Creed, the original Creed movie. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Creed it's uh, Tony Bellew plays uh, pretty boy Ricky Conlon. Does he really? Yeah, in wow. Creed. And it's really, really good. Did and Tony Bellew have any speaking parts? Yeah, and he's great, actually. I don't believe He's you. great. But all boxers have got to be, a you know, they've got to have something about them to act a bit because they've all got to hype up fights, haven't they? Yeah. And anyway, it's, it's not brilliant, <clears throat> but it's as... Uh, a, a sort of a restart of the Rocky franchise goes with Creed it was great fun and I'm so hyped for this second film because it's got Ivan Drago in it it's got his son it's got Rocky it's got Rocky saying Drago broke things in me that ain't never been fixed and I'm like <gasps> I want so it now when I flick through the trailer so if I go yeah jump ahead jump ahead jump ahead all the way through it is a series of people looking off into the middle distance in a stern way. Yeah. That's all it is, the whole Absolutely, thing. Absolutely. So, what, yeah. I, what I mean by this is, I think it's probably going to be very well shot, very well lit, very good sound, you know, design. Yeah. But uh, ultimately, just all about let's have a fight. Yes. That probably. is literally it. Well, I, I uh, think there's. Yeah, I think but it's... isn't that about some of the movies that you like, you, you love to watch with like the big animals and the stupid yeah, yeah, absolutely. things? Yeah. I, I'm not saying that it's bad for that reason that's what I'm saying it's going to be a very well made movie mm. big robots thumbs up punching each other you know um, I, I think the story's moved on um, uh, Creed now seems to be because he was very early in his career in the first Creed movie mm. and he now seems to be a little bit more established as a fighter 
Um, he's probably married. He looks to have like he's got a kid. Well, Tessa so he's Thompson's got something in it, to and lose. she's great. So yeah. you know, um, I'm hyped. I'll watch it. Okay, I'll watch cool. it. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I've seen Creed, so I'll probably watch it. Good man. Um, well, I, uh, you're going to go to the cinema and watch it. I probably am. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. It might be, I might get my popcorn out of that one then. Oh, you might. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not then. I will. Maybe a get it before that. A couple of little bits of news. Sure, go ahead. Um, so there's some filming going on in uh, the Spider-Man world, Spider-Man Far From Home, and a photo was taken on the set of Spidey wearing a black suit. Do, do, do. Now, there's no way on earth they'll be doing Venom, I don't believe. I don't think they'll do Venom. Oh, says you. Yeah, says me. Even though there's a Venom film coming out yeah, next month. Yeah, that's why they won't do Venom in Far From Home. Sure, and sure, And I sure. believe there's no crossover at, at, at all. No, indeed. So hence, they won't be doing it. No. So they're suggesting that it might be the stealth suit, which is a very, very cool suit from um, mid-2000s yes. Spider-Man. Tell me sure. more about this suit. Um, it's so it's It's stealthy. It literally is that. So it's black and it's got a glowing <laughs> symbol on it. It can go, it can be green or orange, I think it lights like up. Like a chameleon. Uh, no, just lights up like that. Oh, it's okay. a bit Tronish, okay. Tron like. Um, so yeah, it'd just be really interesting to see what sort of uh, Stark new tech. costumes. Well, he so, gets that's what I was going to say. Is it going to come from Stark? Almost so. Most okay. probably. It might yeah. just be his normal suit that can go that way. We don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a feature that he's yeah. just unlocked or something. I just yeah. thought it was a fun little, uh, fun little photo. That, yeah, yeah speculation. I'm looking forward to that film if they mix things up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am as well. Yeah. Next bit of news. Yes, please. Kingsman Three is happening. I didn't even know there was a Kingsman 3. I thought they did. Well, I think this, this is the announcement. I'm sorry, I didn't even know there was a Kingsman 2. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, there was, yeah. Wow. I saw it on yeah, I saw it on home video release, or whatever you want to call it. I downloaded oh, it. Is it, it straight it. to DVD? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. It was in the cinemas. It, okay. It's, uh, it's not as good as the first film. It has not been received well. No. And yet they're doing another one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, well, it obviously, you know, the studio are obviously happy enough that it made enough money that they want to come back and get some more out of people. So, fine, you know, whatever. I, I, I didn't watch the second one at cinema. I, I heard the reviews and was like, nah, I'm not going to bother. Mm-hmm. So, I guess people should vote with their wallets. It just, yes, I think the reason <laughs> I, I put it on here. Bad. Yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I think it, the reason I put it on here is it's just interesting, like, how is this been greenlit to be made if the second one was really not that good Pants. I guess the second one must have made money but there are so many other films that could be made yeah it says and despite a mixed critical reception Kingsman the Golden Circle was still a major box office success grossing 410 million worldwide 100 million domestic 310.6 uh, million foreign on but a the, relatively modest 104 million production budget but, but if you yeah because they, they, they're, they're cheapish movies right yeah. they're Matthew Vaughan movies and yeah. he, he makes movies on, on, on the cheap but very good movies mm-hmm. uh, well it, it actually it, it, the franchise overall apparently has grossed uh, over 825 million worldwide so if you, if you say that the second one made 410 million the first one made around 400, 415 million yeah. so it's about the same amount of money so, so why not make a third but that's my problem is that they're just looking at that line whereas actually if you look at the reviews it suggests to me that people won't go and see the third one. It's Fox. It's oh, Fox. Right. Moving on. Um, yeah. Well, the, the thing is, <laughs> no, though... No, no, we don't need to say no, more. No, no, don't say no, more. No, no, no. No. We'll it's, get to them later. Yeah, well, also... <laughs> Why are you on it? <laughs> it, it, it could be as well that it gets, it gets binned. Yeah, maybe, after the, yeah. After the merger goes true, through, yeah, so you yeah. never know. Let's hope so. So, <laughs> Warner Brothers have released Fantastic Beasts, um, Crimes of Grind- Grindelwald, final trailer, because it's coming out in a month and a bit. Can yeah. I just say, I've yeah. not seen the first one. This trailer looked awesome. I'm so glad you said that. Because I, I, I actually want to go and see this in the cinema because I think it will be fantastic on a massive screen. But first, I, I, I need to see the first one. I encourage you to watch it. Was, fantastic honestly, piece. I was... I was kind of on the edge of my seat. Yeah, you know, you know when you get that yeah, feeling. Yeah. It's like this is really interesting. What's going on? I want to know more. It's super fast paced. I would say go into the first one thinking like the first two Harry Potter. The first two Harry Potter films are very lightweight, very setting the scene, very mm-hmm. gentle, and then they get bigger and more uh, intense and more dark and epic. Mm. Same thing. I think is going to happen here. I don't think they're making as many as they did the Harry Potter one. So I think the first one was your kind of your, en- your entry point. Yeah. So there are some silly bits in it. I really enjoyed the first one. I really, really did. Me too. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to go through what the story is. No, no, absolutely. I'm going to find out. Yeah. Whereas this one, I think, looks step up. Yeah. You know? um, it looks nasty. I still don't like Johnny Depp as Grindelwald, but maybe he'll change my own mind. Don't, let's not say too much because James no, 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 the first just, one. No, no, no. Actually, don't worry about it. Have you, you seen the Harry Potter films? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I won't say too much, but what I will say is I, I suspect this could be the start of Johnny Depp having a little bit of a renaissance. Right. Sorry if I so can't I just, no, I don't, I just don't want the mic to fall off. Um, I hope that that is the case, and I hope he gets himself together. Yeah. The other thing I saw from the character pictures, and I don't know how many people caught this, and if not many people did, or if everyone did, then okay, fine. Did you notice the wand he was holding and the wand that Dumbledore was holding? Oh, uh, no. I'm guessing Grindelwald has the Elder Wand. Grindelwald has the Elder Wand. Indeed. Dumbledore does not have the wand that he has in the Harry Potter films. No. And because... that he was stolen from his... Spoilers for the Harry Potter films. Stolen from his... And the books. Okay. Grave. Stolen from his grave yeah. by Voldemort. So... So there's going to be a... There's going to be a, a little dual... bit of that. Yeah. There's going to... Well, uh, maybe not in this film, but eventually yeah, there point, will yeah, be. Yeah. Did you see also the reveal about Nagini? Yeah, it's a person. So... James, do you remember in the Harry Potter films, <laughs> Voldemort has a snake with him? Called yes, Nagini. I saw that. Ch- that changes. Yeah. I thought that was that, that. So that is the snake. Apparently, Nagini is the lady, and she performs at a circus because she can. She's I can't remember the name. Performs at what circus? At a circus for Muggles, where she turns into a snake. Oh, she's an Animagus. No, she's not an Animagus. That's what oh. I say. It's not an Animagus is someone who can change at will. Yes. The more she changes into a snake the less likely is she's going to change back. But she doesn't know this? I don't know, but she's one of these... It's like an illness or something. All right, okay. So that's why in the later Harry Potter films, she's always a snake. Mm. And that explains when she pretends to be Bertha? Uh, yes. Whomever it is. I do. She can, the snake can pretend to be a human because it understands... That um, that model they use, is it Batilda Bagshot? Oh, yeah, Bagshot, like that? yeah, yeah. Wrote, uh, The History of Magic, or whatever it is. Terrifying. Th- that model that they use in that Harry Potter film... Definitely Hannah's too, I think it is, isn't yes, it? it is, yeah. Was that the, was oh, yeah, the, 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 the oh, yeah, studio okay. tour that I went to with, with Claire? And yeah. it, my God, it is absolutely horrendous looking. It's so scary. But that is... I was not aware that that was Nagini's history, actually. Yeah. So that's no, very I didn't either. This trailer has, has, has given us the... Fantastic. Yeah. Beasts. Indeed. Where to find them? Yeah. Well, well, so, apparently people are kicking off about the, the person that's playing Nagini because she's a South Korean. Oh, sh- shut up, internet. Yeah, it's a load of rubbish, isn't it? People yeah. can be the worst. I don't care. Well, I don't understand Who why. Cares? Yeah. I, I think the effects in this trailer Do one. are second to none. Mm. They are absolutely stunning. It looks amazing. It does. I, and and I, I think I really like Eddie Redmayne as yeah, well. Yeah, I didn't like him before, but I think I do as well. I do yeah. really I find his like voice him. I, the voice in it, I wasn't too sure. He sounds like a little bit like a baby. Oh, well, he, he's, he's that, supposed to be for... very, very... Home counties British in the early well, part of the very baby. But also, 20th century. He has, um, he has a, a. It's not autism. That's not fair. But he's on that spectrum where or he, he plays it. Re- no, I know, but he plays a really interesting part. You'll see this in the first film, James, where with the creatures, the beasts, he can be um, intimate. Don't take that the wrong way. But he can be intimate with them and natural. He can, natural. He looks them in the eye. He treats them. With humans, he's always slightly looking to one side. Oh, he okay. cannot interact with humans properly, but with the animals, he, he understands them. So that's why he talks a bit like that. Okay, that because makes... it's a bit awkward. So it's a really I'm, it's a great. Thriller. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. It looks I, awesome. I cannot wait to <clears throat> review it with you guys. Yes, I really can't. Well, I it's think... only two months away or a month and a half away. I know. I'm, I'm going to have to really get on my bike. Yeah, and you watch the first one. Yeah. So more trailers? Sure. We've got uh, two more trailers to talk about. Bumblebee. Yeah, meh. Have you seen it? I have, yeah. I, I'm, I'm aware that there are... Uh, uh, you saw the Russian one? Yeah, no, but I've now seen the actual one. No, I've seen the, 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 the American one, not the one that Nate okay. popped on the document. Because I've seen I, the I, actual I, one. I, They're similar. Right. They're that, very similar. Is, is it similar or the same? Uh, <laughs> question I think it's the same I think it's the same it's got a different opening maybe okay because uh, I wasn't interested in Bumblebee when I when we first the first trailer I saw the Russian one looks really interesting mm. he's added a little bit more story mm. a little bit more about what's going on I just I, I don't really think I'm that fussed about Transformers I honestly don't think I am I, 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 I'm not the target demographic for these movies and that's okay and I I don't know if I want to waste my time going to see it at the cinema. They are they are they're putting a lot on this character to, to keep it going, aren't they? Mm. Because he's the he's always been the heart and soul of of the Transformers series. He's mm. been the link to humans and they're trying to explain that link. I love the Cybertron stuff. It all looks amazing. Yep. Set a film there. 
Give me a CGI Cybertron movie. I'm well up for that. Um, so am I right in saying that Optimus Prime, or the voice of Optimus Prime, appears to be back? Yes. Well, there's going to be flashbacks, I think, to Cybertron. And, you see him there. Uh, yeah, and the and the Transformers look more... Like they do in the original comic cartoon. Comic and yeah. cartoon yes, accurate. Exactly, so yes. That's good, right? I think so. Absolutely. Good. Um, I'm not that fussed. I'm not that fussed either, but I want it to be great. Oh yeah, I want people like, to have a good time. I want it to break the cycle mm. of it, well, of, all of Transformers films yeah. being. Was the first? Did you like money the first making machines I actually with didn't, no soul? Yeah, I didn't mind the first one. No, I didn't um, mind it. But what seems to have happened, and I've only seen bits of the other ones, what seems to have happened is all the worst bits of the first one have just been escalated in the other films. Yeah. Mm. Um, whereas this, I'm, I'm hoping that actually Haley Steinfeld is going to bring it back. She's, it's about her mm. and Bumblebee. Mm. Don't know. Yeah, this one looks okay. all right. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. That's yeah. a, that's a nerd shame stamp for approval. Nah, it'll do. If you want to, if you want to <laughs> slip even further into meh, let's talk about Dark Phoenix. Um, I'm pleased that we finally got a trailer. So that tells us that it's <laughs> not been like it's not been binned. The trailer does seem very serious. Um, it doesn't seem anywhere near as colourful as Apocalypse. I said in a tweet, um, I think that Jack and the Geeks talked about this earlier on, if it, if it has at least half the heart of X-Men First Class or X-Men Days of Future Past, which I still think are good films, yeah. then yeah. it's on the right yeah. track. Matthew Vaughan did a great job bringing, bringing the X-Men series back after mm. that First Class mm. film. Mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you a question. Sure. It's a leading question. Yeah, it is, yeah. Could this trailer have been made up of scenes cut from the previous X-Men movies? Yes. 100%, yeah. <laughs> Do you care I, I, about listen, any of it? They're, they're still obviously not doing the uh, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, whatever you want to call it, saga from the comic books. They're not doing it how they should. But it's because it's a film. It's not a TV show. They don't have long-form storytelling under their hat in their, in their box of tricks. They've got to just do it. And they've filmed it now. If they didn't release this film, they would have thrown away potentially about two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I know, I get it. So I, get it. I know why it's coming. It's going to be the last hurrah because it, it's going to be folded into the MCU. Scene. Well, well, we will had it? a wonderful conversation this morning without you, and that was oh, that was oh, the key it, point. You not being there made it wonderful. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, it was. But right. James, you quite rightly said that. Wouldn't it be interesting if they? did some reshoots knowing about the merger mm-hmm. and ended this film with something that snaps reality wipes it resets it or at least does brings it something to bring it into in, the, the MCU yeah just just have that would be good I'll, I'll go with that have Iron Man turn up no not Iron Man I don't want Iron Man I'd rather have Captain Marvel Someone, uh, but she won't do because the film. <laughs> no, it won't do because the film's being released before Captain Marvel, wasn't it? Yeah, it's coming out in February. February and Marvel's 14th. out in March. So, well, so, so why is it Iron Man? Because he's been the linchpin of the other. Oh, movies. of course. But something. Yeah. Have something. Be, I, uh, I don't think it'll happen, but it would be a glorious achievement of Fox and Marvel if they did reshoot and they ended it with that shot where Jean goes supernova. Mm. If they ended it with that. And the universe got reset. So what if they did do that? It would be it would probably make so much money. It would be one of the highest grossing comic book movies of all time because everyone would go and see that bit. Yeah, yeah. It's see, not going to happen though, is it? We don't know. Potentially not. It would be lovely if it did. And if it did, I have to say it would be all about Feige manipulating things behind the scenes. Not manipulating. That's the wrong word. Pulling the strings behind. Excuse the scenes. me. Who did you say? Kevin Feige. Feige. All right. Cool. But he he was. Um, he was involved in the early X-Men films because he worked yes, for Lauren Shulman or a producer or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. cool. That's what I love about Feige. He's a proper comic book guy. Yeah, like he, he, he Him and Jeff Johns were, worked under um, Richard Donner. Uh, I've got beef for Jeff Johns at the moment. Ooh. He needs to up, up his game with this bloody doomsday I'm just going to pop down to the bathroom and get some soap and wash your mouth out. Wow, look at his body language. He's t- Telling you off. Arms are crossed. So like yesterday you were, you were getting told off yesterday as well. Crack me up at work. Was I? Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did I tell Ben off? No, not you. Someone say. else was telling him off. Oh, right. I felt like it was like... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember. No, yeah, well, listen to it, it, it like obviously went stuff. straight <laughs> yeah. over my head yeah, or in one ear and out the other. So this trailer, right? There's, okay. okay. Magneto's gone off and living a peaceful life somewhere with some group. 
Well, it could be any of the X-Men movies. Um, the X-Men are in their mansion, rolling around in his wheelchair with Cerebro, and one of the X-Men goes rogue. Could have been any of the X-Men movies. Well, um, uh, the, the link I have here, which is very worrying to me, is that in um, X-Men The Last Stand... Yeah. You heard that film told us that Charles Xavier put some kind of mental block in Jean Grey yeah. to stop her from going supernova, super, supernova. super dark phoenix, whatever supernova. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's from this trailer. It seems like they've done. They've gone with that route again, which I believe is fairly comic accurate. Uh, is it? Well, let's say it back is, yourself, best. or it isn't. It's the same as basically you're saying. It's the same story as what we've seen. Pretty before. much, yeah. Just without Wolverine, and she's found out about that, yeah, and she's last, got a bit upset about it. Wasn't the last stand about a child that could take the powers away or something? That yeah, was, was that it as, as well. well. Yeah. yeah, but then wasn't the wasn't the Jean Grey turning to Dark Phoenix kind of a side story? Yes, but it was should have been the main story. But it should, it have, been should have been. So now you're getting the you're now getting the main story. Are we? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just, I'm just so empathetic about it. I just, uh, like I said to you this morning, I think it looks like a really well made movie. Like Creed. Like Creed. It's obviously got the same look and feel as the other X Men films, which all have a good look and feel. Apart from Apocalypse, which was a bit cheap looking. But generally speaking, X Men films look, they have a look. You, you saw one scene, nerd mm-hmm. scene, you'd go, oh, that's an X Men film. I get mm-hmm. it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got yeah. that. They've got that blue steel look, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I like that phrase. Um, it's good. But it just... I, I don't care. Well, it's an Origins film, and you it hate is, Origins films. It is, That's yeah. all it is. I see, uh, but then we've said that... I think we're hyped about Captain Marvel, because, as I, I think I said before, that we um, it's being tied into this bigger badder story where this mm. looks like potentially just another on its own story which you're just going to say someone had some powers someone put a blocker on it they got the blocker off boom I'm going supernova I think the most we can there hope it is from, people the most we can hope from this film is it wraps up the first class X-Men movies in a nice neat little bow and we, we put them in a drawer close that drawer lock it forever throw the key away and that's I'd it I'd burn it the burn best it. we nice. can hope for yeah. is that it ties itself in some way into the MCU somehow well okay if it doesn't tie itself into the MCU let's speculate right now how can this film end I I I have been asking myself this since I watched the trailer and I've got no idea because Jean Grey has been set up as the air quotes bad guy or at least the person who, the, the antagonist right something's happening to her to cause some sort of problem people will be trying to stop her police and whatever like government the army agencies. with guns yeah it, exactly do all, that. That, all that sort of stuff right so how can this film end other than like Jean dies her powers are nullified what happens in the comics the phoenix force is separated from her I think but after a long time she yeah, takes it takes over time. the phoenix force is like a cosmic force that takes over her body mm-hmm. and she becomes but a, when she goes supernova in the comics what happens uh, she does it different, in different ways and it's in space it's all set in space okay she might be in space then Mm. Yeah. There's, there is a, well there's, there's, a, a, there's, there's a couple of there's think, a, yeah. in the trailer yeah. they are flying into space I think that's been thrown in the trailer for us to go oh look there's space it is happening but it mm. just, just isn't going to be in it. I, that's what I genuinely should feel should we move on because I don't know I don't know man there's too many I don't knows and yeah. you, like you said Jessica Chastain is in it yes who's she playing uh, an alien of some kind is she a she are yes she is that's it <laughs> stop swearing at me yeah. <laughs> she, is, she, is she Lalandra uh, I don't know. If she's a Lalandra, that's I don't like that at all. Uh-oh. Because okay. Lalandra is supposed to be the love interest for Charles Xavier, and like she's she's hard because she's a queen of an empire, but she's not evil as is sort of suggested in this trailer. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Oh no, she's playing someone called Smith apparently, according to IMDb. Oh, yeah, the right. hell okay. So she's know? Smith until she reveals that she's a Lalandra. Maybe it is in space. Maybe. maybe it is revealed that it's all in space. Maybe. And maybe it's revealed that actually it is the Dark Phoenix creature that's taken on her body. Maybe, we've, maybe we're maybe we being led down the garden path. Maybe and when we get to the end of the garden path, we'll be in space. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> maybe tomorrow it'll all settle down. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think the trailer was fine. I'm not really hyped for the movie, but I will go and watch it because we've got to review it. Yeah. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'll have my popcorn on that one, definitely. Definitely. No, no, that's, that's too far away. Whatever. When okay. do you want it? Now. <laughs> two more bits of news do okay it. let's do it so Birds of Prey Birds of Prey is happening apparently it's a yes. DC movie uh, we've had two casting confirmations and some casting speculations 
So we know for a fact that Harley Quinn is going to be in it. She's teaming up with Huntress, who will be played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Love that. She's great. She was mm-hmm. um, Scott Pilgrim. She was Ramona. Yeah. Yeah. And she was in the Cloverfield spin-off. Yeah. She was in uh, the film with the thing about the, the one. with. The oh, yeah. The film about the thing yeah. about the one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know the one you mean. Yeah. Yeah. She's pretty good. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've also got, uh, so she's playing Huntress, and Black Canary is going to be played by Justina Machado. Yeah, great. Is that right? Have I got that Don't know. right? Don't know. African American actress, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. That's it. I mean, brilliant. strong female leads. This is the, this is the world we're in now. Thank yeah. God we've got there. It's only taken us, I don't know, a hundred years of movie making that we can have strong female leads. <laughs> well, it seems to, it's just we're getting a, an absolute a flurry of, of it, right? yeah, all yeah. of it now, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Good. Good, yeah. Jesus. It's not. It's Good. not. A bad, it's not a bad thing. No. I sound. It made it sound like it was a bad thing. Sorry. Having said that, I think the internet's upset about everything. This movie's not going to happen. Is it not? I don't believe this movie's going to happen. Tell us really? why, Nate. Because DC Warner Brothers movies are falling apart left, right and centre. Are, are they? Aquaman and Shazam need to be the most amazing things ever for this series to carry on. Okay. They need to make all the money. Is that... <laughs> When's Aquaman out? Uh, was December. I don't think it's God, it's that December. seems ages ago that we... So that you've been, no, I have. And we've been, we've been to see like three movies since then. I still haven't seen a trailer for the movie. What well, We've you been sat there... there. And I've been going to him. I've been touching him on the eye going, James, the second you know it's Aquaman, you've got to tell me and I've got to cover my eyes up and be like, la, 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 la I'm not going to watch it. And it's not come on once. Oh, right. Not once. In three films. No, it hasn't, has it? No, not once. So I don't know what's going on with that. So all good for casting. Don't believe it will happen. Not for a second. Fine. There's also a Joker and Harley movie, which absolutely 100% is not happening. I don't believe it for a second. Now this is this is Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad and Joker Jared, Jared Leto yeah. from yes. Suicide Squad. That movie's not happening. I mean, how, I mean, how many times have we got to talk about DC movies that don't happen? I Nightwing's don't in the works. How many times have we talk about DC movies that are rubbish? <gasps> Oh, oh, recently, yeah. just through there. Cavill recently, through the recently, Cavill's leaving Superman. We think. Oh, how are you saying it? Cavill, Cavill, yeah. Cavill. not Cavell. Cavell, Cavill. That's right. But that, in I'm, a tweet the other day, you said you say it Cavell. No, but that's why I'm saying it. Are you saying Cavill? No, I'm saying Cavill. Then I would spell that C A V hyphen A L. No, you wouldn't. Doesn't matter what this is. <laughs> carry on with what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bill, wasn't it? I think so. It was yeah, Bill, yeah. 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 Um, so the last thing, the last thing yes, about, on from, this news, from the yeah, podcast, uh, sorry, uh, birds of prey speculation. They're saying that possibly uh, Hugh McGregor might be in the works to play Black Mask. They also said Shalto Copley from District Nine and the A Team, and yeah. um, what's the one he did with Matt Damon? Matt Damon. Same director as, as just you know. Oh, uh, the one Elysium. Red, yeah, the things in the, sc- yeah, in, the yeah. in space. Yeah, Thank you. Elysium. Mike, can you say it normally? Elysium. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it normally. I have to say it like that. Yeah. Uh, I take either of those guys. I think probably. I like McGregor. Is it? I think I'm leaning towards McGregor. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be good. Okay. He'd be a very sinister black mask, actually. Yeah. And if they did it, which this film won't be made, um, if they did it, they, I want him in the black mask the whole time. I don't want to see his real face. No, his, well, his real face is, is is injured, isn't it? Isn't it? Even injured? if even so, I I want I, I want I want you to dread it. White suit, dread it. Black shirt, black, black mask. skull mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two guns, throwing, spouting poison and swear words at yeah. bad uh, the, at the good guys. The yeah. ultimate mafia boss. Yes, give me that. I'll take that. Yeah. Should, should we talk about the last bit of news? Let's do it. Yeah, Joker. Is it untitled Joker film or is it called Joker? I don't know. I don't know. Produced by Scorsese, directed by Todd Phillips, starring, starring Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Now, we've seen him. We've the, seen the, the Joker. The first, it, it's come out like this. The first thing that was released was that still of his face with the long hair and he's just looking like a, a, a gaunt, older guy. Yeah. And, his, and his character's name is Arthur Fleck. A Fleck. As in... Affleck. Affleck. Yes. Ben on, on the nose on yeah. the nose uh, then we got those stills of him having a conversation with a guy in clown makeup which no, he wasn't in clown makeup he wasn't in clown was, makeup yeah, yeah, the yeah. other guy was in clown makeup and he was sort of talking to him 
Then we got a bit of footage of that, which was him walking out of a door, turning around, spitting on the door, and then that guy in the clown makeup coming to talk to him. He takes his, his, this guy's rubber nose off and throws it. Then we got from Todd Phillips's um, Instagram account, we got the reveal with that really eerie, beautiful song. I should laugh. Yes. But I cry. Are you playing it with your fingers? I am. Cool. Yeah. And then you've got the, it, it's sort of zooming in on him and, he's, and then he starts to smile and then it cuts to him in clown makeup. Grinning. Grinning. All sorts of facial tics and then the laugh on his face drops. The lights in his eyes die and I'm looking at the Joker. So there's And a... I loved it. Did you? And I loved it oh. straight away. Oh. No. I watched it first and was like, I need to watch it again. And I watched it again and I, then I loved it. The thing I noticed about it, James, I'd like to know your opinion. Okay. I noticed about that video reveal yeah. was the way that it flicked across his face was like a train going past. There was yes. like slight lights and stuff. And yeah, then yeah. we've had the reveal of the train. scene on the train. Yes, I we think have. there's going to be a massive amount of this subway stuff. That's, that seems to be the thing that's going on. They've even released a, an image of the... the I think it's Gotham, isn't it? Uh, of yes. The rail system that's yeah. all named by like people who have been involved I've, in it. I think, so I think the rail... I think it's going to be like a Dread-type movie. I think it's going to be small, concise story yeah. I don't think it's going to be sprawling oh, I think mean. it's going to be like hit set up snaps turns into the Joker scene on the on the subway mm -hmm. yeah the the station they were filming in because I googled it is um, an actual live um, subway station in the Bronx in New York oh, yeah. Uh, but yet yeah, yeah then we did see this this map of um, like the Gotham underground and mm -hmm. or subway or whatever they call it in America and yeah there's like links to Arkham in there there's like Kane County so Carol Kane or Bob Kane um, yeah Snyderville whatever it is mm. uh, Nolan Lane nice so it's, it's all nice little nods and winks and I, I love that but I, I think James what did you think about it before because you've told us you liked it <sighs> okay um, I thought it was quite sinister and really really dark um, I, I liked the, the, his face I didn't pick up on that that train thing yeah. but, that's, but that's really interesting because when I looked at it first I was like this doesn't seem set right we know when you see people's faces almost being transformed into yes. another character it, was kind of, it kind of merges a little bit and it was yeah. flashing I was like no, I'm not too sure about this but now you've said that makes it really obvious I'm glad you're Thank much you. more intelligent can, than I, I, can, I, can I play the song? no no you can't oh he's doing it oh he's done it anyway yeah. why, why ask and then just do yeah what a jerk I'm yeah. I think what else it might be. It might be a fair guy. Could be. Um, the scene where he's talking to this guy, this other guy dressed up in clown makeup. Uh, it looks like it takes place around or near a fairground. Oh, so it could be fairground. I'll yeah. take that back. It could be all fairground. Yeah. So, I, I, I am keen for this film. I am keen for his portrayal of Joker. I want to know what this film is going to be about, though. That's is the he key. the antagonist? Is he the protagonist? Is he the anti-hero? Is he the villain? What's going on? Is he being chased by Commissioner Gordon? Is it nothing to do with that? And it's just us following him. What's going? How are they pitching this film? I don't, because this film uh, yeah. is being filmed. I don't understand how Joker can exist without Batman. That's my, that's my... Well, we know that Thomas Wayne is going to be in it. Mm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to kick whoever I kicked then you, you, and then did, did again. You did, you purposely did it. Um, I know so you we know that Thomas Wayne is cast and is in this film. Um, but if he's alive, that means Bruce Wayne is a young man. Or is it in a world where... Thomas Wayne is Batman. Or just there are is no Thomas heroes. Is Thomas Wayne Batman? Uh, in Earth... Uh, Three, Thomas Wayne is Batman. Oh no, we're going over the different Earth is. Earth is? Earth is. I think it might be. Earth? <laughs> Hobbit is. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I think it might be. I think that might be what it is. What, it's, that? A, it's a different Earth. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's, a, it's an oh, Elseworld story. I, I do like this. It's well I do like it when they do this stuff, but it does done half confuse me. It's, uh, well, this is, well, you're going to strap in, mate, you're going to get a lot more of this. If this film works, which I think it probably will, well, I don't know how. The DC Universe is not called DCEU now. It's called Worlds of DC. Yeah. So that means we're going to get two Jokers. We're going to get maybe another one. We're going to get Birds of Prey. We're going to get Black Superman. We might have Cavell back as Superman. So in, in, Who ter knows? in terms of top DC characters, is the Joker up there? 
I mean, he's out of all of them, are we, I'm t- iconic villain. I'm thinking top three. He's he's definitely in your eyes. Um, I I sometimes think he's overused. What? Sorry, what are you saying? Nothing. What are you saying? What are you... Sinestro. Sinestro. Oh yeah, I love Sinestro. Met, Nate will mention Sinestro. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think he's as popular as that. I think Joker is a popular character. Yeah. Every, well, everyone, I guess, lots of n- non comic book readers will recognise the Joker from Batman 66 from yeah. Batman 89 you know from, from all of all the versions of him you know mm-hmm. um, yeah I just the look of it is very similar to uh, Heath Ledger's Joker yes it's or got with a smudged type of yeah the, it's, it's not quite it's, dirty it's I don't think or grungy makeup the hair is clearly like greasy and dyed it's 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 interesting that we've gone you know Heath Ledger's style. Then we've gone to Jeff, this Jared Leto, like almost ultra sculpted mm. uh, creep, mm-hmm. um, and then gone back to Heath Ledger style. Because mm. uh, mm. I do think it is very Heath Ledger style. I think it is a man. I mean, if you look at the still, I think you could say that that could look like him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, there are too many am... question marks for it. I'm, I'm glad they released the stuff because otherwise it would be it would be people on their phones snapping it on the set. That's why they've done it, right? Because yes. they're filming in actual locations. I think so, yeah. So they've had to release it. But, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I, too many un- unanswered questions. Yeah. Don't know where it's going. Yeah. Don't know what it's supposed to be. That is all true. But, but I'm on the if, hype train for it. I'm on the hype train. Uh, I'm definitely interested. Hmm. I'm definitely interested. I'm just wondering whether it could be a complete bag of. Yeah. Because there's that option at the moment. It's... I mean, what we were going to do, talk about today, and I, I don't, we, you know, we're approaching the hour mark anyway, but so I don't want to go too much. But we were going to talk about our favourite Jokers, and it's kind of straying away from where I like the Joker to be. Mm-hmm. I like the sort of Batman animated TV series Joker, where he's this, um, he's this force of nature. You don't really know where he's going to go, what he's going to do, and he's he he doesn't have makeup on per se. He is this. Is he, is it creep his, you know is it the face and things in the cartoon as well he's very caricature, caricature yeah 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 thing huge than, um, grins and yeah yeah, 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 yeah like, the teeth and stuff yeah, like that yeah. I like the Joker in the comic books when he is scary yeah when you don't know what he's going to do you don't know what he's going to do next and you are terrified of the actions that he's just taken so there, there's speculation that this film might follow the killing joke storyline which is strange again because that's a batman comic mm. but in that the joker in it is a pure psychopath he's yes. he's terrifying he's evil he's not the wacky guy who happens to kill people along the way he he is a, a calculating evil twisted murderer murderer yeah mm-hmm. i'll go with that um so it, it if that's what they're saying it might go down there. so it is that scary route mm. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I, there's, uh, I think until we get a trailer, we're not going to have any clue, or we get some more casting news, we're not going to have any clue about what this film is all really about. They've done this little reveal of, of Arthur, mm. and they've changed him into his Joker persona, and I love that. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is a fantastic actor. I'm encouraged that he's on board and he's investing himself, his time into this. I think we could get something very special. But I don't know what that's going to be, mm-hmm. so we'll wait. Maybe see. it's just maybe it's the change curve that's that's trouble for me. Maybe it's such a shift in gear, because the the Warner Brothers movies have since uh, since Batman vs Superman been trickling down into a more lighter Marvel esque tone, and the Shazam trailer. No spoilers for the Aquaman trailer, but the Shazam trailer certainly is going that way, right? Oh it's, yeah, yeah. You know, it's more, it's more family friendly. It's He's bright, and colourful. The trailer. Yeah, it's it's fun, right? Yeah. So this this is going for me from fifth gear straight into second. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. a real sorry. Go on. So I'm just I as you were talking, I thought I'd find out what 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 is out there at the moment and. There is another picture, isn't there? There yeah. is another picture, but it's also saying someone has stated that since this film will explore the depths of his origins without a superhero as his nemesis. Yeah. So we, there, there is going to you're definitely out. No Batman. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I just don't know how that can work, and, and that's another question which we we could be Red Hood gang stuff. Yeah, but Joker's origin has been told quite a few times differently. But none of them are confirmed as true. You never ever get, well, that's the actual 
It's a bit Wolverine like. It doesn't matter where he came from. Doesn't. And yet this is saying hard and fast in time. This is what happened. But then I suppose in '89 that's what happened as well. Yeah, in '89 we got uh, this is the the origin of that Joker. In uh, the Dark Knight, um, we got two origins in the one film. Yeah, and none, it, but they were, neither of them were real. Neither of them were real. Yeah. One of them was a lie, or one of them was truth, or neither of them were real. Who knows? Uh, this is an Elseworlds one potential origin of a Joker where a Batman doesn't even exist. Maybe there's always supposed to be a Joker, Nate. Mm. Maybe there's always supposed to be a Joker. Mm. Love it. Mm. Anyway, I'm hyped. I'm on the hype train. I want to know more. Give it to me now. October the 4th, 2019, is that's when it's supposed to be out, so we're not going to get too much too soon. Yeah. Cool. Um, is that it for today? I think that's it for today. I think we're done, aren't we? We haven't really left on a high there. I feel, I feel like we've all just gone... Oh, I know. Oh, I, know. I, know. I, I think we've high. left on a dot, dot, dot. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Da, okay. da, 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 da. Back to the future to be continued. Yeah, but that was really good. Thank you. Bing. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're heading, heading on. So, Ben... <laughs> Where can people find us next time they want to find us in the To Be Continued of Nerds Chatting? Uh, they can find us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Just search for Nerds Chatting. You can send us an email, which is nerdschattingoutlook.com. This podcast is available on YouTube and uh, Spotify and iTunes and any other podcasting available network if it's on there. Um, you can listen to our entire back catalogue on those services as well. You oh, but also... don't, don't. Oh, no, I mean, don't, go back no. about 20 episodes, because before that, it's... No. Well, yeah, it's all bad. Go, go back um, about maybe maybe 100 episodes, but anything other than that, it's going to be... Fine, four, fine, four. fine, fine, fine. Uh, and check out our website, which is nursechatting.com. Oh, it's also on Podbean, nursechatting.podbean.com. That's where the actual podcast is hosted. Yes. I feel like I'm saying things in the wrong order today. But nothing matters. You are useless. What's important is that everyone had a good time today, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, sure, yeah. Right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.